today we're going to be making homemade egg rolls. Yummy, yummy, yum. All right, who doesn't like a good, crispy, tasty, firm uh, egg roll? <laughs> Okay, I, I pickle myself. Okay, but anyway, we're gonna be making egg rolls today. So come on, come on, join me. Let's make egg rolls. yellow onion, garlic, ginger, bean sprouts, shrimp, chicken thigh, well I, I think this is chicken um, leg meat because I like I like dark meat because it seems juicier to me than um, breast and then we have a half a pound of ground pork and a half a pound of ground beef. So when we're sitting, oh we have the egg egg roll wrappers. This is my favorite brand, so that's the one I like because it, they're really nice and crispy. Can you see that? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. So, that's the brand I like. Also, then we have the um, oil to fry them. This is our dipping sweet chili sauce we're gonna use for dipping them. Soy sauce we're gonna use on a, a different different reasons why. <laughs> and then um, to seal the egg roll wrappers, have um, a little flour and some egg whites. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so let's get started. So I'm trapping my prawns so the pea knife size. They came already clean, and all I'm doing is <clears throat> cutting them down the middle. We don't need them to be really big for the egg roll. Everything should pretty much be bite-sized. Slicing it down the middle, and because I can, this little vein here, I'm going ahead and taking that out, because it's available to take out. And then I'm just chopping them in small, bite-sized pieces, you got it? Easy peasy. That's what we got. That's about, let's say, a nice, healthy cup full. All right, this is our Napa cabbage, about a half a Napa cabbage. I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse that off a little bit. Take all the water out as much as you can. Okay, we're gonna just cut that down the middle. Oh, can you see what my big old arm in the way? Not. Let me do it this way so you can see better. Can you see better? Yes. All right. There we go. All right. So I think I'm gonna do a half of that. This looks kind of brown in here, so I'm gonna take that out. I like the way that looks. I'm just gonna kind of shred that. Cabbage. Alright, so first we're going to go ahead and saute our, our, our 
our um, ground beef and ground pork. And this pan is really hot. I'm gonna put a little cooking spray in there. And then we're just gonna do a little. There you go. Okay, right, so you kind of just flat pan this around until it's completely done, similar to how you would do for tacos or spaghetti, right? You know how that goes. So I like to kind of break it down a bit. I like to use this kind of a straight edge spatula, wooden spatula, because um, it really chops it up good. So you can tell I have a little more ground beef than I have ground pork. But that's only because I'm trying to lay off the pork, but <laughs> I haven't quite succeeded at that yet. So I said I'm still gonna put a little because I just like the taste it gives the meat, okay? So in that, I like to season it while it's still kind of raw, right? So I put a little onion powder, Oops, that's a lie. This is garlic powder. My bad, you get it, right? Garlic powder. Now we got some onion powder. All right. Add a little accent. And I like seasoning pepper. Push that in there. Any seasoning like you get on the side of your pan, kind of wipe that off with meat. Get it all on there. Seasonings are not cheap. So we want to use it all. Alright. Okay, you just constantly kind of break it down. You know how to do this part. Doesn't take very long for that to cook. Okay. All right, we'll come back to that. So that's completely done now. You don't see any more pink meat. It's all nice and brown. And um, I put this a sprinkling of salt on it because we don't need too much salt because we're going to be dousing it with a lot of soy sauce, so we all know that that's salty, right? So just enough to enhance the flavor of the meat, <clears throat> but not a lot, all right? Kind of stir that around. That was simple enough, your meat is done. Gonna drain that and go on. Now we're gonna go ahead and saute our chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of the cooking spray back in our cast iron. And a smidgen of olive oil. Got a smidgen? Yeah. Okay. Let that good, good and hot. And then we're gonna go ahead. Little bit of our garlic. Chopped up garlic. And then our chicken. That's our chicken leg quarter meat. Like I said, I really like the dark meat. I like to use that for a lot of things because it stays good and juicy. Whereas chicken breasts can kind of dry out sometimes to me. 
just not my favorite. Put our oak wood smoked pepper on that. Fresh ground pepper. I like a lot. salt. Not too much because remember soy sauce is salty. This doesn't take but a few seconds. They cook very quickly. And we want them to um, cook a little also while they're in the egg roll, steaming all the vegetables. Uh -oh. Stirring things at the pot, like my mother always said I do with my heavy hands. All right. Got that right. So they're kind of opaque, and that's what we want them. Not cook to death. Because they're gonna cook some more later, right? Alright, so that's that. So now add we're gonna do our vegetables. We do a lot of oh, oh. we do a lot of olive oil. Also, a little sesame oil. And add onions. 
and our garlic. Right. I want that super hot, like it is. Okay. Let's kind of move that around for a bit. We're kind of getting stir frying this. That's why you want it super hot. Mm, it smells amazing. bit of ginger. You're just kind of wilting it because again inside the egg rolls they're going to cook more. situation with onions, garlic, and onions, garlic, I think that's it, ginger. We have a raw bean sprouts. Uh-oh, this bowl might not be big enough. We might have to transfer bowls so we can stir. A grated carrot. So pretty. Green onions or scallions or whatever people call them nowadays. Green onions to me. Hmm. All right. And then we stir. But I don't know if stirring is going to be wise in this particular bowl. We'll have to stir gingerly. Just folding the ingredients into one another and trying hard not to stir the ingredients out of the bowl as I love, love, love to do. My good heavy hand itself. All right. So that's good for now so we can season it. So we're going to put 
soy sauce, of course, a nice healthy amount of that. All right, a little sesame oil, a little. Fold that in. Try hard. Let's just stir our things out of our bowl. Pretty good. Looks like we want it to look. All right. And that is our filling for our wonderful egg rolls. That's it. All right. So now for assembly. We take our, um, our egg whites, remember we had that earlier, and we add our flour. So that's two tablespoons of, um, of flour to two egg whites. Um, let me just mix that in, because all we're doing is making a paste that's going to seal our egg rolls, right? Together, slowly but surely. Okay. So, this is a hands on type of a thing. coming together. All right. Okay, so let me put some gloves on. So now that that's all nice and smooth, we'll start assembly. So we just take about a nice heaping spoonful of your mixture, lay it on your wrapper, right? And so you lift that, one end, twist, turn once, bring the ends in, sides, in, sides, and twist. I mean, I guess roll, that's the whole thing. It's called an egg roll, because we're rolling. Take a little of your flour paste egg white mixture. And ta-da, egg roll, okay? And repeat. So while the egg roll, okay, so the papers are so nice and thin, let me show you them, that they're kind of hard to peel. So I kind of put wet paper towel on them while I'm working to kind of get them a little more so they're easier to peel. But you get the hang of it after a while and you kind of just do it kind of gingerly, stay kind of close, pulling. Okay, there you have it, okay? So sometimes if you look and see how you have a hole here and a hole here, these are places that you're gonna wanna put where you're gonna put in the beginning so that once you roll it, it will roll on top. You see, you see what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? Are you picking up what I'm laying down? <laughs> okay, so let's try it again. All right, so take another nice kind of a heaping 
spoonful. Keep it all kind of lined up. All right. And fold. One good turn. Pull in, pull in, then turn some more. Roll, as in egg roll. All right. Get your wonderful paste. In. Egg roll. So repeat that a few times. Let's do it one more time for you guys. And um, pull this egg roll from the beginning. I mean, oh, this egg roll. Okay. Not from the beginning. So these can trick you into thinking it's one when it's two. So this is one. So you want to make sure it's only one. But I like these because they're really good and crispy. And these I get at the Asian market. They don't have these at the regular supermarket. So you have to make sure you make a special trip. And when I get them, I usually go ahead and get two packs so that next time I have a hankering for egg rolls, I don't have to go there, right? I already have them in my freezer, right? So, like that. Back over there, put your wet towel on top. And we'll do it one more good time for it, people. Okay, nice. Keeping spoonful. All of your wonderful ingredients. Oh, look, this is gonna be so good, you guys. These are something I love to make for parties because you can freeze them. I'll show you how to do that. I'll wrap them and freeze them and then they're always fun to go to when you just feel like an egg roll and you have them already in your freezer and you're like, all I gotta do is fry them. <laughs> Life could not be better, right? There. Cool. One more so I can show you how to, how I wrap them for freezing. And another thing about them is when you freeze them, they fry better. See, now that they're soft like that, they don't fry as good. But when they're nice and frozen, all that juice on the inside of them gets frozen into nice little ice crystals and when you put it in that hot oil those crystals melt and steam the middle Ooh that's some good eating there uh oh something happened something bad <laughs> so I'll show you how to repair that because sometimes you have to have so many I'm counting and I can't just throw away papers wrappers so I have to salvage them if I my heavy hands tear them which obviously happens a lot. So I will put that at the top, okay? Now that's torn, put that at the top. Another nice scoop. And you can make these as big or as small as you like, because this whole recipe started off as lupia. <laughs> and a friend of mine, said that that is not a lupia. It's way too big to be a lupia. That is a ghetto egg roll. <laughs> so they became lovingly called that after that episode. Pull it in, pull it in, and move. Now sometimes if it gets too wet like that, you wanna really cover that up. And that's another good reason for them to be frozen. They act better when they're frozen. Just my personal opinion on that of years of making these. All right? So now I'm going to show you how I wrap them. And I usually wrap them in sets of either five or four. Because that way when you unfreeze them, you'll have just four. That's just enough, you know, <clears throat> for one nice little meal. So I usually... Take my saran wrap, 
like so. I'm leaving it on the thing. And I take my egg roll and I wrap the one kind of tight. And once that one's completely wrapped, I put another one next to it. Now that's very important because if you freeze them right next to each other, they will be stuck to each other. And when you go to undo them, they're gonna have big old holes in it and it's a hot mess. It's a hot mess. So make sure that is covered. So you pull that and twist it again and then add another one. Okay? And then flip it again and add another one. Flip it one more good time. Okay. Still. Okay. Wrap it completely. You. Wrap that in, that corner in, that corner in, and you're pulling them kind of tight because you want them to freeze solid like that. Then take a piece of foil, and do this thing to them. Holding it over once, all the way down, all the way down. Right? Fold the ends in, twist that all the way in. So, repeat on the side. Don't have to be beautiful, it just has to work. And then you have the egg rolls. I put about five of those in a um, freezer bag, honey. And everybody is usually so excited when you realize you have egg rolls in the freezer. Oh, yes. All right. All right, so these got kind of cold. They're not really frozen like I like them, but you know, for all intents and purposes, I just wanted you all to see me um, uh, cook them. So the grease is hot. So we're gonna go ahead and just add them to your oil. Now, like I said, it, it's really much better if they're all the way frozen. They cook um, better. So, yeah, you get what I'm saying. You're picking up what I'm laying down. All right, so that's them cooking. We're gonna cook them on one side and then Remember, and now you know, remember that they're not even, most of the stuff on the inside of them is already cooked. So really, you're just trying to cook the outside of them. Getting them all nice and crispy and golden. Ooh. <laughs> it's gonna be so yum, yum, yum. Okay. So we got all of that going. A nice cast iron skillet. Nothing fries something better than a cast iron skillet. Mm. Everybody who's anybody knows that. Right. So, you can see how it's kind of translucent. You can see the carrots and stuff inside. Can you see that? Maybe not. You're not close enough, but you get what I'm saying. Right? Okay, so, you just kind of let those cook. I'm going to say you cook them for like four, maybe four minutes on each side, really just till they're golden. And you see how much grease, they're not completely covered. But if you have a deep fryer, that's the best. I don't have a deep fryer because it just takes too much grease to fill it up. I just I can't give it that. But unless I had like a big party or something like that. But overall, the cast iron skillet does what I need. Getting kind of brown. See that? Mm. Now 
like I said, this is really nice when you have some just in your freezer, ready to go when you don't know what you feel like eating. And you just going through the freezer and you see one of these packets hiding out. I'm telling you, you will be a happy camper. Cause then they're even more delicious cause you didn't have to do all the work. All you have to do now then is just fry them. Today it was a lot of things that went into it. Okay, so I'll come back when they're a little more brown. All right, so see how they're getting all golden brown. Mmm. Can you see? That's us cooking them. And I just keep on kind of rotating them a little bit. But like I said before, we're just cooking that shell. Because remember, everything we kind of sauteed and, and cooked everything prior to this. Now we're just warming up things inside and getting those shells nice and crunchy. Mm. All right, so you're gonna drain them on a nice paper towel. And um, just a few more minutes. Favor lumpia, but they're bigger, right? Okay, so we're gonna cut them and let you see the inside. All right, so you see how they are? I cut them in half, and you can see all the wonderful, lovely. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> okay, but anyway, you can see all the wonderful loveliness inside. Oh, deliciousness, and they're nice and crisp. We're cooking some more, but that's it. All right. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.